I'm going to show here how to use the paint fill tool in texture paint in Blender to fill in full UV islands. Uh, it could be one at a time, multiples at a time. This is something that gets a similar result to the polygon fill tool in Substance Painter. It's got multiple steps. I would love a dedicated tool for this uh, or a mode to uh, the fill, paint fill, and texture paint in Blender. Anyway, let's do this with a monkey. So over here, add mesh, monkey, go ahead and shade smooth that. Uh, if we're going to be texture painting, we're going to need to add in a new material with a new texture to paint into. So I'll just go ahead to my shading over here, create a new material. Let's go ahead and call this monkey mat. There we go. Then over here, I'm going to go shift A, add in a new texture, image texture. There we go. I'm going to plug the color into the base color, create an actual new texture in here. I'll call this monkey color. Leave it at the default res. Don't need an alpha channel. Hit OK. OK. Now I actually have an image that I can, or a texture that I can paint into. OK, so I'm going to go over now to texture paint for a moment. Just show you basically how that fill tool works. There's the fill tool. You can see the fill color way up here. I'm going to choose something brighter. And right now, if I click anywhere on the model, you can see it fills all of the UV islands. If I undo that, if I click somewhere over here, you can see in that case, it's really filling in not just the islands, but the entire texture with that color. Now, just always bear in mind that uh, if you're using multiple textures, if you have multiple textures for, say, roughness and stuff like that, you'll see those listed over here, and you want to make sure that you have the one that you want to paint into selected or active. Okay, so we can't really fill in yet individual islands. Let's go over to UV editing for a moment. And so what we're going to need to be doing here is to be able to select islands in face selection, and then there's going to be a way to sort of filter or isolate those back in texture paint. So over here, let me just switch over to face selection. Uh, before you continue, you're going to need to create seams from islands here. You can do that over here in the UV menu in the UV image editor, and you'll see there's seams from islands. Now you can see all my seams have been created from the existing islands. So the way this can work is, let's say I select a face here and I'm not in sync select in here. If I now hit control L, you can see it's selecting linked. I say I can hold down the shift keys, click another face over there on that other ear, and again, control L. And now you can see I've got both of those ears selected, uh, in particular the faces of the ears. So now with those selected, I'm going to go back to texture paint, and I want to turn on, you see right here this paint mask button up at the top of the viewport, face selection masking for painting. So now if I select that, you're going to notice it sort of masks out everything that was not selected earlier. I still have that paint bucket or paint fill selected. Now if I say click over here, it's filling everything. But if I click over here, you'll notice in the 3D view, it's just filling in those two islands. So you can go ahead and proceed to do that. It's a little bit tedious. You'll have to go back and forth now between, say, uh, either modeling. You can do it over here, I believe. Or I'll just do it over here in the UV editing. So for instance, if I select face on the eyeball here, shift select one over there, and then control L. Now you can see again the eyeballs are selected. I switch back to texture paint. Now you'll see that everything's been updated over here. I can say switch my fill color to something different. And again, say click over, not there, but over here, and you can see it's just filling in those eyeballs. So that's how you can uh, do effectively island fills in Blender.